హలో ఎవరి వన్ హౌ డు క్రియేట్ ద వెర్సన్ స్పేస్ ఫ్రమ్ హైపోథెసిస్ స్పేస్ సో హియర్ ద ఇన్స్టెన్స్ స్పేస్ గివెన్ విత్ విత్ ఫోర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఎక్స్ వన్ ఎక్స్ టూ ఎక్స్ త్రీ ఎక్స్ ఫోర్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిరైవ్డ్ ఫోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ హైపోథెసిస్ హెచ్ వన్ హెచ్ టూ హెచ్ త్రీ హెచ్ ఫోర్ యూ అస్యూమ్ వీ హ్యావ్ గాట్ ద హైపోథెసిస్ హెచ్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ సాటిస్ఫైయింగ్ ఆల్ ద ట్రైనింగ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఎక్స్ వన్ ఎక్స్ టూ ఎక్స్ త్రీ ఎక్స్ ఫోర్ సో వెన్ ద గివెన్ హైపోథెసిస్ హెచ్ ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ which is equivalent to target concept of all the examples x i then we can say that given hypothesis is uh, consistent with respect to given data set uh, d with respect to all the samples x i so that's what given here version space is defined as with respect to hypothesis space capital h and given training examples d given here is the subset of hypothesis from h are consistent only with the given all training examples given in the data set d so all the uh, training examples should be satisfied by the created hypothesis h4 then only we can say h4 is consistent with respect to given training examples d and the version space will contain all plausible versions of the target concept for example uh, you look at this this are this is the hypothesis space we have got from the given training examples x1 x2 x3 x4 so this is the general boundary and this one is specific boundary of the version space here uh, this is the more more uh, uh, specific hypothesis this one is the more general hypothesis this one is uh, uh, in between the uh, specific boundary and the general boundary this is not minimal hypothesis not general hypothesis so which is satisfying the uh, minimal general hypothesis and the minimal specific hypothesis so which is having the six hypothesis all six hypotheses are satisfying the given uh, data set d so just we will take any one of the hypothesis this one uh, so here we will check with all the hypothesis either which is giving h of xi equal to c of xi to prove that given hypothesis is consistent or not so sunny so here we are taking the sunny in the example one uh, here a uh, warm yes it is a warm then all are question symbol so h of x1 is true and c of x1 c of x here this is c of xi so c of x1 is also here true which is given in the target concept so both are equal so which is uh, consistent with respect to this example 1 then we will check the example 2 here sunny here also sunny here warm the here also warm then remaining all are question symbols so which is accepting the values so h of x2 is true then what about c of x2 c of x2 also true so both are equal now then you check the third example here it is a rainy but uh, the given hypothesis value is sunny right so it is giving the false okay false and here it is a cold here it is a warm so false and false and remaining all are accepting here all are question symbols so well, all will be a uh, true so here when it is all will be a true you will get the uh, false and true you will get the false so h of x2 is false then what about uh, c of x3 sorry c of h of x3 c of x3 also here false you look at that which is satisfying the given condition h of xi equal to c of xi like that when you are taking the uh, fourth sample so which is satisfying sunny and warm remaining all are question symbols all are question symbols so the given hypothesis h4 uh, sorry h okay this hypothesis is satisfying all the samples given in the data set so which is called consistent hypothesis so like that uh, here it will uh, all those uh, this all sam uh, 
hypothesis will satisfy the uh, given data set D, then we can say all six hypotheses are uh, uh, consistent hypotheses which are lying between the specific boundary and the general boundary in the hypothesis space. So all consistent hypotheses will be taken from the hypothesis space H and it will be considered as a version space. So all the hypotheses will be uh, transferred into the version space. So here six, uh, his, uh, six hypotheses are there. So all six hypotheses will be available in the um, uh, version space uh, with respect to given hypothesis space H under data set D.